welcome to the first episode of Stacia Expert Mode. Oh, I'm really excited about this pack. Um, it should be cool. Now this is a 1.16.5 Expert Pack, um, which means changed recipes for a lot of things. Um, changed meaning harder, harder recipes for everything. Now, one of the one of the first things you'll probably notice is you're going to try and make a furnace. You can see I've, I've got it up here, but uh, the furnace not only requires stone bricks, which you're going to probably have to smelt to get them, uh, unless you find a village. Um, requires the wooden furnace, which requires a wooden plate, which needs wooden shears and planks, and yeah, that's just a small taster of what we are in store for. Um, there's quite a decent looking quest book uh, leading you through through the different mods. So we, we've got the the starting one leading us to like basic machines. Um, looks like immersive engineering could be one of the first tech mods we get into, and then like later stuff like mechanism is gated, and we're probably going to be doing some magic mods as well. But I've got a bit of a plan for this series, um, more project based. So our project for today is building a starter house, and not just a not just a cave. Not just machines and a hole in the wall. Um, I'm going to build an actual house, and I haven't done a lot of building, uh, especially in a series. Well, I did a little bit at the end of the last one, but um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm certainly not an expert builder, but I'm going to try and get better. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is get to the area I scouted ahead of, and I think I might have gone the wrong way. That's not the map. Oh, I think it was down here. Yeah, I scouted ahead in creative mode. Um, it's been a while just trying to find a cool seed um, where we can build some stuff. And obviously it, it didn't take very long to fly over there. So the seed will be in the description if you want it to play in the same world. And we're heading this way. And yeah, the, the sky changing, I noticed, is because of the biome we're in. So this, this minerally magic-y biome has a, a light blue sky, but uh, the beach has a blue sky. So I don't know what we can do about that. Yeah, I do have plans for this uh, minerally magically, ma magically, magical-looking area. Ah, but that's that's yeah, that's for another day. Now there are a whole bunch of mods in this mod pack. Um, some stuff I haven't played with, uh, like the new version of Tinker's Construct. So that's going to be pretty cool to see, actually. Um, and I'm interested to see what's changed. We have obviously played a little bit of 1.16.5, well, 0.4 at the time stuff with uh, the Direwolf 20 mod pack, but uh, yeah, should be cool. And I'm sure it was this way. Did I load the right world? <laughs> I'm, I'm questioning things. I'm sure it was this way. And, ooh, some bees. Ah, yes, here we go. This is the area I was looking for. Um, so we're going to be taking this pack a little bit slowly. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on progression really at all. Uh, we're obviously going to be going through the progression because we, we we have to, but definitely focusing more on the projects. So I think our first project is going to be a starter house, and then I was thinking maybe some kind of tree farm because we're going to need a lot of a lot of resources uh, for building a bunch of stuff, um, and we might check out create for that too because that is in the pack, and I have I've yet to touch create. Um, Surprisingly, considering how big of a mod it is. Now, I probably shouldn't have been running as much as I have been because uh, I don't have any food. So I'm going to just grab some of the stuff. We can get a little bit of a farm going just to, just to start off with. Uh, and yeah, so this is the area I want to build the starter house in. Now, I did sort of go through in creative mode and, and work up a design, and then it turned out a little bit small. So I've got a rough idea of what we're going to make, but I'm not 100% sure. And I think this is kind of going to be the area. Um, and then I plan to, in the future, expand over into here. I think our tree farm might be in the forest, because that seems cool. So, I mean, let's get started. We've got a bunch of books we don't need to look at right now. Uh, like the, the Tinker's one. And I think our first quest is getting wood, right? Wood, and then crafting table. And then we've got a couple of mods are oh, tinkers interesting i feel like this is updated since i first checked it out because tetra and uh silent gems or silent gear silent gear are also in the pack actually we better get a move on because half the day is already gone now uh excavate is in the pack mate i thought i'd already set up my hotkey 
Oh, there we go. There we go. I just obviously didn't hold it down for long enough. But uh, obviously that's going to chew through our uh, hunger pretty quick. So we want to be a little bit careful with that. But let's get started. I want to get straight away into some Tetra tools. So I had a little bit of a look at some of the stuff we're going to be doing. And this is the recipe for the workbench. Uh, we're going to plonk this guy down here. And then we're going to need another workbench, but I don't have enough wood. We're going to get some more. Oh, and excavate's being a little bit funny. I'm letting go of the button too soon. So yeah, probably going to hold off using too much excavate for a start. Uh, because, yeah. And look, we only get two logs. To two planks from a log, and that's how you know it's an expert pack. Alright. So, to get started in Tetra, um, you need a tool. How do we get a tool? Uh, we're going to start by making... I thought that was how you made a wooden hammer. It's not. Wait, what? Wooden hammer? We can't, oh, we can't use fur planks. Obviously that wood's not hard enough. It's got to be one of the normal ones. Okay, alright. Well, that's fine. We'll start with an axe because we're going to be chopping down some trees. And we should be able to repair this. Uh, but we're missing, we need we need two axes. We need an axe to repair our axe. And this is just going to convert it into a Tetra tool. And you see this is just a Minecraft tool, but then we repair it, and I don't have wood. We need more wood. Alright, this is going to be the axe we use then. Come over here, this is going to be our one for repairing it. Grab an axe. If you've never played with Tetra, it's a very cool mod. Um, you can replace like components, like we could make a, a double-sided axe head. Oh, I'm going to need some more planks. I'm going to need some more planks. And I think this looks really cool. Like if we do this, uh, should we do it? Should we do it? It's a really slow weapon, but look at that. That's cool. Eight damage, that's pretty nice. Up from seven, I guess. But uh, yeah, half the, <laughs> half the attack speed. So this probably isn't going to be the best uh, tree, trop tree, tree tropping. Tree chopping tool but I think it looks cool we'll probably change it back to a to a normal one but all right I need to gather a bunch of resources um, to get started because we're gonna start by building a house so I'll make some tetra tools just the basic ones and maybe we should do that for a start just the the stuff we need so we need some regular regular logs like some oak logs these are all fruit trees I might leave them these are all fruit trees pop over here I mean, we could... No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's uh, immediately get some stone. So I don't know if there's a cave nearby. We've got some, some stone over there, but that's not quite what I'm looking for. Get a couple of tools. We'll get a shovel. Get a pickaxe. I'll just dig up a little bit of stone. And we should be able to pretty quickly... Oh, look, it's almost night time and I've done nothing. There's sheep nearby. Not that I've seen. This could be interesting. I'll just get a little bit of stone. And then we can upgrade our tools to stone and I think that's going to help speed things up a little bit. Let's get ourselves the Tetra Hammer, or something we're going to need. And this is kind of, you need this for like repairing tools, and it's just handy. And actually, you kind of need two. Uh, because if you ever want to upgrade your hammer, you need a hammer to upgrade the hammer. Which, I mean, I guess kind of kind of makes sense, but yeah, it's a little bit messy. We can make a tool belt, but uh, obviously not yet. So I'm going to spend some time just gathering some resources, getting started. And then it's time to figure out where we're putting the starter house. I originally put it in this area, but uh, I'm not committed to that just yet. Okay, so we're not off to the best best start. You'll notice I've got not much health and I've broken my pickaxe. We can now repair it, but uh, I don't have any wood or food. And I'm hiding underground because there are a lot of mobs spawning. I did set it to hard difficulty. And uh, there were a lot of mobs. And it sounds like there still are. I've made a mistake. I've definitely made a mistake, I think. I thought this is a bad idea. I don't know 
how are we going to do this without dying? I just need a little bit of health and a little bit of wood. Um, maybe we can dig. Let's take a peek. My stuff's over there, right? Nope. 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 Oh, that's a skeleton. All right. All right. But my stuff was like over here, right? If we can just dig under here. I might be able to find my barrel. Ooh, a heart. Isn't that like health? I got it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. We got some health. We can probably take that skeleton now, right? I'm feeling good about it. Oh, there's mobs everywhere. Now, if we're smart about this, we should just grab some wood and, and hide back under here. Nope. Nope. That's, that's cool. We're good. We're good. Yeah, now that we've got some wood. I mean, I guess I could... I think we can repair our tools like this, right? We can. Oh, that turned it back into a... Oh, it's always been a Minecraft pickaxe. It wasn't even a... Convert it to a silent one. I kind of don't want that. I kind of want to find... There's a barrel. We're good. There's the barrel, which means... Hey, there's our tetra bench, and now we can upgrade our pick to a stone one. Um, we could go granite. And what's the difference? Granite gives you more durability, so granite's actually better. And it's kind of cool to have a granite pickaxe. Uh, we might not have enough. Granite pickaxe, awesome. Cool. All right, uh, back to some mining. I think we should now be able to mine uh, like iron. Oh, there we go. And uh, I'll have to make sure I grab some of this granite. And then we'll come back once we've got a little bit of stuff and it's daytime. Oh, and it's already sunrise. I can see it on the time. But we got a bit of mining to do. Actually, we probably need to get a bed, right? That would be a good decision. So we'll just give the sun a little bit of time to come up. Because I am horribly unprepared. I haven't died yet though. But yeah, I want to set my spawn point because we are actually quite a wee way away from the world spawn. And I don't really want to walk that far. Well, I found pigs and chickens, but no sheep yet. And we've got a bunch of different foods, which is going to be cool actually. Um, the mod in the is in the pack that lets you gain bonus hearts from eating lots of different foods. So you definitely want to be picking up, picking up these Pam's things. And I think normally, normally there's a few different recipes and hey, maybe we just grab, ah, oh, this is fruit, spiderweb fruit. Uh, none of that's grown. I really, really would like some wool. So it is going to be nighttime soon and I still haven't found any sheep. Found a rat though. Uh oh, it's getting dark and I've not quite made it back yet. I mean, that's where our stuff is. I think we're going to make it. I should have made a boat. I should have made a boat. And I forgot we can swim faster because this is this is new Minecraft. That was cool. Oh, I've got no room. Uh, what don't we need? Probably not Infernium for a long time. I'm pretty sure uh, Mystical Agriculture is very gated. Which is cool. Which is cool. It's going to give us reasons to uh, mine stuff. Harvest stuff, set up some kind of farms. I'll grab those fish, but again, we got some inventory issues. So, no luck on the wool. I guess it's time for another night of mining. Oh, we found a dungeon. A Minecraft dungeon. Yeah, I might save the spawner. I don't know that we really need a spider spawner, but we've got it. But. It's gonna get our crop started. We didn't have beetroot yet. I mean, uh, we might get a horse. We're kind of in the low tech age, but the iron, that's really gonna help. Our music disc, sure, redstone, nice. 
cool, cool. Now, the chests have a weird... No, chests are normal recipe. That's fine. But yeah, now we can go and... We probably don't need fluorite just yet. Go and upgrade our... Tetra tool. Oh dear. Our Tetra tool. Now this board... Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, we can go upgrade our Tetra tool to iron. And then we can mine some of this other stuff. Um, there's things I can't mine down here, like lead... Oh, and gold. That was close. And that might be handy stuff, but yeah. Just dug down. Found a nice little cave. And, ooh, a module has settled. Our flimsy handle. Now, the problem with that is... Oh, and honing. Yeah. Um, when you upgrade a part... If that part had honing on it, like, like our thing does, um, you lose... You lose the lapis. Lose the honing. So... Yeah, like the pick parts have all settled. Um, that's going to come into play later on when we're doing some other stuff. But uh, as soon as we upgrade our pick... That is an interesting noise. Uh, like... That is a lot of interesting noises. Um, when we upgrade, say... Our pick to a diamond pickaxe... Um, we're going to lose all that honing and settled those modifiers, so yeah. Probably not that fast. The honing can let you do things like uh, increase the the mining speed of stuff, and hey, we can come out of the out of the hole in the ground. It's a lovely day. And yeah, oh, I need more storage. Need more storage. Um, let's just go for a chest. Now we might not actually have enough iron to upgrade all of them. Um, so if we, we could hone him to give him more mining efficiency, this kind of, if we got him to mining efficiency too, he could probably mine, like, diamond level stuff, or iron pick level stuff, but with granite, which could be interesting, but uh, his mining efficiency is probably pretty low, and would need a lot more mining efficiency, and I think it interacts with speed somehow as well, but we'll just go for a pickaxe head, oh nice. Have enough. Uh, pickaxe head. We'll go for iron as well. Cool. And we'll save this iron for repairing him. Cool. And then we've got a bunch of junk now. And it can't. It, it can't go anywhere. All right. We're just having. We're just having messy chests. That's fine. That's fine. Right. It's probably time to start collecting a whole bunch of wood, because this house we're going to build is going to be pretty big. And the design I kind of came up with uses a lot of stripped logs, so these oak trees are going down. Maybe I should have upgraded my axe. I might go dig up some more iron. <laughs> Actually, no, we can smelt the iron we've got. Got 26 iron. Now upgrade my axe to an iron one, and that's just going to make it a little bit quicker. So let's make this first furnace, because I did come up with a small trick uh, for doing this. We, we, we don't have enough wood, do we? And I have got a normal axe. I just upgraded like the one I'm using for axe tool related stuff. And his attack is 8. But he's twice as fast at like attack speed. So it's probably not worth making the great axe. But it looks cool. I like the way it looks. So if we wanted to make this guy. We need one of them. We need some of that. Uh, we can't make that because we don't have stone bricks. And now this furnace can catch fire. It's kind of the downside, you'll see, uh, caution. This furnace can catch on fire by himself, and he does. But if you do this... Now he can't. Unless he can go on fire on the front of him. Which maybe he can, so what if we... What if we... Just to make sure... Did that. Sure. That'll work. And then we'll grab some coal. And I guess maybe I should use charcoal, but eh. it's fine. And there is tiny coal, and I guess that's more efficient, right? Oh. Guess tiny coal is more efficient. Should probably be a little bit efficient. It's an expert pack. You're supposed to play it expertly. No time for inefficiencies. We're going to be doing so many things inefficiently. 
a fur boat. Cool. All right. Time for a bit of deforestation. Because, yeah, we're going to need so many logs that uh, it's not even going to be funny. Time to start collecting uh, the resources we might need for building. It's kind of going to be like a log cabin, but not a log cabin. Kind of medieval, but also not medieval. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what it is. It's going to be a house. And it's going to be better than like a square box. So, yeah, back once I've chopped down a whole bunch of trees. I've made a mistake. I don't even know what that guy is. What is that? A spider, jockey, a vampire, dog, bat thing? Yep. Mistakes have been made. Um, I've still got no armor. All my iron probably is finished smelting up. But, uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, hmm. We got some wood. This is definitely not enough. This is definitely not enough wood. Uh, I wonder if I can make a run for it, right? Oh dear, there's so many creepers. I can never get far enough away, and the axe is almost broken. Got him. Oh no. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. We're running. We're running. It's fine. It's fine. And back into our hottie hole. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Um, where did I put my furnace? Just over there. Just over there. Um, I kind of would like more dirt. So if we go down. Expert mode. Because we are experts. Now. Hey. Nice. And then we can make some armor. We can make some armor. Um, is that time I have a... Yeah. Look at this. This is perfect. Wait, what? Oh, of course. And we've got string. We could do this. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I, I kind of need some armor. Uh, we got string somewhere. I guess we're making an immersive engineering hammer. <laughs> and getting some... Oh, that's way more expensive. Um, is that enough for a... I need two, three more. Oh, that's expensive. I think let's go for a chest plate because that's the most offense, right? Ooh. We're good. We're good. All right, so been doing, been doing a bit, been doing a bit. Um, did a little bit of terraforming here just because I, I really needed dirt in case I need to build some stuff up. Uh, our tools have upgraded a lot. We've got dig efficiency five on the shovel, which is uh, pretty much insta mine for dirt anyway. That's that's pretty good. I did have to upgrade my hammer to an iron hammer. That was pretty cool. Um, just moved my stuff over here. Still still rocking the wooden furnace. Um, and we got some stone here. That's kind of junk. Uh, that's kind of junk. But uh, some dirt in case we need to terraform. A little bit of cobblestone. Um, mostly we got some logs. A bunch of oak. I'm not even sure this is going to be enough. But, you know, there's trees everywhere. And a little bit of spruce logs as well, which I got from way over that way somewhere. Um, actually, we can we can have a look uh, from over over here. I think. I also tried to find sheep and couldn't, um, so used a uh, jute. I think this stuff's called. And you can craft this into string. And then I made wool out of that. So still still haven't seen any sheep. Sheep have been nerfed, confirmed. But what we're going to do now is I've cleared out this area and we're going to have our first time lapse of the series. And like I said, I've kind of worked out a design uh, on like a test world and creative and it was a little bit small um, and I thought it was big and it took a lot of resources and it took me a long time in creative. So it's going to be a big task, big project, big project, but uh, hopefully it turns out okay. And I kind of, I see you, let's two of them. 
Uh, I kind of know what I'm going to do, uh, but just bigger, more rooms. And I kind of know the style. So uh, let's get into it. And there we have it. I actually just finished editing up the time lapse. Um, and yeah, you probably noticed that all the details and stuff got done in just one big jump. And that was mostly because I didn't really know what I was doing. It was essentially why that happened. I tried quite a few different things and I just yeah, didn't keep up with uh, recording all the little bits uh, in progress. Went through quite a few iterations, just trying to get it to look, look nice. Um, I'm reasonably happy with how it turned out. I feel like we still need a little bit more detail in different places, but I couldn't quite figure out how I wanted to do that. But uh, this took a long time. This took a long time. I think I started building this before lunch yesterday, and I have finished up around about 10 o'clock that night. So yes, very time consuming, but I am quite happy with how it's, it's come along. Um, Kind of the first house I've ever tried to, you know, put a decent amount of time into. Now there's some weird bits where I might try and, you know, I don't know if I chuck some blocks under there or, oh, we'll do something, we'll do something. Now, uh, might notice we have diamond armor and slime boots. Uh, slime boots was very necessary for for doing the time lapse recordings because it actually moves your character up in the air, and then I was getting dropped on the ground, so <laughs> had to go get some slime boots. Just went and got them from the slime island over in. That direction. Um, so we've got some slime saplings and stuff. But yeah, all our junk is gone from sitting outside and it's inside the house. Now I've done a little bit of the interior. A little bit. Not heaps. Um, oh. But, oh. Yep. A little bit. Um, see, like this bit here looks a little bit funny. Like I feel like the window would look better if... Maybe it was just the one in the middle, but then when I tried that, it kind of looked a bit funny out here, because you had then the two gap here, and then the one window in the middle, so... Uh, I mean, maybe I extend the front another block, but that's a lot of work. I think we'll just... We'll just ignore that. It'll be fine. Um, obviously need to do something with the front of the yard, and some kind of path or something, but... This was enough, this was enough. And yeah, dark oak, dark oak tree, dark oak saplings were way over in that direction. Well, it was about 700 blocks or something, so maybe not way over. But yeah, we just got barrels with, with junk. Um, come into here, this is kind of like a hallway-ish area. I, I tried my, I tried, tried dividing up the rooms into sections, um, which I haven't really done before. Normally I just go for big open designs, and obviously we need some details on the wall, maybe some paintings or bookshelves or something. We need something in here. Um, we got this empty room. Went for like a... We got stripped fur logs, which looked kind of cool as a ceiling, I thought. And then some fur stairs, just as like a detail, because the, the colours are the same. Uh, again, we kind of got the window where it looks good from the outside, but if this was extended out a block that way, maybe that would look better. But then I've got to move the roof and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And here we've got what I've been using as the bedroom. And yeah, all the rooms are pretty barren. Um, nothing much in there. We got like a kitcheny storage area in here. We're now storing my food. And we got these cool framed glass pane windows from Quark. And the best part about these is, like, you can break them with a pickaxe, but I know what's going to happen. It's going to fall outside, so we won't do that. Um, and yeah, in here we got the, I guess, the lounge type area, lounge dining room. Not sure. And we've got a, we've got a fireplace. A uh, couple of campfires underneath the, the stone slabs, and we can now use furnaces. 
And yeah, I upgraded the wooden ones to, to the to the regular furnace because obviously we're making a bit of stone brick. And yeah, I think this is kind of cool. Then we can put, I guess, like coal. So maybe like firewood, but I'm, I'm probably going to use coal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We've also got like an attic area. Which is just up these stairs. And yeah. At some point, some part of this is actually a little bit asymmetrical. I think I wasn't really trying to make like these sections symmetric. Um, and they kind of, it's only actually like one block different. So yeah, this, this bit in the middle is kind of covering up like the really obvious not, not equal part. And I think it, it does a pretty good job. I thought about having like a little balcony area, but I couldn't quite get it to look good. So uh, I don't know if we'll bother doing that. Um, I think, I think these windows turned out kind of cool though. Cool, kind of cool. Here's some, some stripped spruce, so a lot of logs. We got a lot of logs. Our axe has been honed quite a few times. Uh, our pickaxe is also, yeah, got mining efficiency four as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, the chimney on the roof looks kind of cool too. Um, all my stuff's just in these drawers. We'll grab some dirt for pillaring. And we'll take a quick nap because, yeah. I still haven't died, surprisingly. I've come close a few times. The mobs are a little bit tough out there. And the chimney taking advantage of the fact that we have vertical slabs. Um, is this going to fall in the chimney? Oh, it's just placed on top. Yep, vertical slabs. Oh, so good. So good, and just another campfire in the chimney up there to, to have the smoke coming out. Yeah, the... kind of, kind of the... where it joins onto the roof didn't quite work out. Super good, but... it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, overall, pretty happy with the house. These transitions are a little bit weird, but I, that's fine. It's fine. This is way over the top for a starter house. I think we probably could have started with something a bit smaller, but I'm happy that we've got this. This is going to be a great start to the world. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, building some other stuff. Like we've got potential magic area over here. Maybe, I was thinking like a city, but maybe just a town because... Yeah, I was not expecting this to take as long as it took. There's all these details, like figuring out like, okay, it kind of looked better with these stairs, and then I kind of looked, kind of looked okay with these trapdoors. Uh, a little bit questionable here, and I tried lots of different things, like having like rows of trapdoors across the top. We just got these little bits of fences, just for, just for a little bit of something. Like, uh, should I put one there? Oh, I haven't got one on me. But then they join together, and yeah. But yeah, overall... Pretty happy, pretty happy. So, hey, uh, let me know what you think of this style of episode. A bit different to the other ones we've done in the past. Um, obviously gonna take us a long time to get through the mod pack. Like we've, I haven't even claimed the crafting table quest, but we've haven't done, I mean, we've got like half of this quest, but I'm not too bothered. This is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be perfect. I think it's gonna be a great mod pack for for this this style of playthrough but it's obviously going to take a long time so i think we'll be looking at maybe maybe only like two episodes a week honestly the amount of time that this took <laughs> so let me know what you think it's worth the wait or would you prefer the old style of the old style of video where we're just sort of focusing on the progression um yeah let me know in the comments but hey i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye.